Today we will learn about diabetes. What is diabetes and how many types are there? Diabetes is a deadly disease and if the amount of sugar in the body is high, it can lead to death. To understand diabetes, it is important to understand the process of diabetes in the body. When we eat something, it enters our body and is converted into glucose, and after that, this glucose is added to our blood. When glucose is added to the blood, the amount of glucose in the blood increases. Due to the high blood glucose, our brain sends a message to the pancreas, which allows the pancreas to produce insulin according to the amount of glucose in the blood, and as a result, the amount of glucose in the blood becomes normal. If the pancreas does not make insulin, then such a condition is called diabetes. Normally, the pancreas makes as much insulin as there is glucose in the blood. Insulin is a hormone that helps glucose enter into the cells of the body. There are three main types of diabetes through which sugar affects the human body. The first is type 1 diabetes, the second is type 2 diabetes and the third is gestational diabetes. If a person has type 1 diabetes, then the production of insulin stops, due to which the insulin receptors on the cells in the body do not work and glucose cannot enter into the cells. Sometimes it is also caused due to autoimmune disease. Currently, around 5 to 10 percent of people in the whole world are suffering from type 1 diabetes and most of them are children and young adults. Type 1 diabetes patients need daily insulin injections and at this time no specific treatment has been found for it. If a person has type 2 diabetes, the pancreas makes insulin, but the cells cannot use the insulin that is being made, due to which glucose cannot enter the cells. About 90 to 95 percent of people are suffering from type 2 diabetes. It takes many years to affect the body and is diagnosed mostly in young adults. It does not show any special symptoms, so the amount of glucose in the blood should be checked. To avoid type 2 diabetes, it is important to keep your body weight low, eat good food and try to be active all the time. The third type of diabetes is called gestational diabetes. It happens in pregnant women who do not have diabetes. If you have gestational diabetes, your baby is more likely to have type 2 diabetes. Gestational diabetes goes away after the baby is born, but because of this, the risk of developing type 2 diabetes...